Here we go, moving into compound schedules of reinforcement. Welcome back to our BCBA exam prep series. I'm Katherine Kellogg, and week six, part two, is compound schedules of reinforcement. We have quite a few to go through. Let's talk about what they are. Anytime you have different schedules of those basic schedules of reinforcement combined, you have a compound schedule, two things combined. We have many different types, concurrent, multiple, mixed, chained, random, alternative and conjunctive. Talk about what they are, the differences, what makes them what they are, and some examples as well. Concurrent schedule is first. This is two or more schedules operating independently at the same time. The individual can really choose which schedule to engage in. You wanna think of matching law. Matching law, behavior goes where the reinforcement flows. What's more reinforcing to me in this moment? There's two options, I'm going to pick which one. An example of this, a child can choose between a variable interval schedule for academic work or a FR schedule for classroom jobs. So whichever one they choose to be more motivating is going to be what they do. Now the benefit to this is if we want to increase certain behavior or encourage certain behavior, then we can thicken or increase one of the schedules to make that a more desirable option. So we constantly wanna be looking at motivation in order to increase the communication skills, et cetera. Multiple and mixed. These schedules are next and very similar in that one or more behavior and two or more schedules of reinforcement. With both multiple and mixed schedules of reinforcement, in this case, we wanna think of behavioral contrast. When you have two contrasting reinforcement schedules, in one setting, that behavior will increase. So when we're talking about one behavior, let's think of successful potty training. So maybe we have uh, one parent's house and another parent's house, and they split their time. With one potty training, they have a very thick schedule, continuous reinforcement with Oreos. The second house, maybe it's more variable, a variable VR4. Um, so every fourth time they're getting um, maybe a less preferred snack. Well, at parent one's house, they're probably gonna have more success. In this case, that contrasting effect, there's gonna be more success at that parent's house. And the individuals know what to expect. So the kid or the clients know what to expect with multiple schedules. There's multiple schedules going on, but they know when I go to this parent's house, that's gonna be more reinforcing and they might choose to engage in that behavior versus mixed schedules, it's mixed up. It's still the same, one or more behavior, two or more basic schedules but they don't know what to expect. So it's oftentimes the first few times they interact with this or the first few times the child is exposed to these. Or if you have a substitute teacher, they don't really know what to expect. So the behavior might be changed and might be changing, but it's mixed up. There's no SD, there's no signal in this case. Chained and tandem are also similar. There's two or more basic schedules of reinforcement, okay, since it's compound, but each behavior um, has an SD correlated in the schedule. So when you hear chained in tandem, think of many different behavioral responses that go together, kind of like a task analysis. Let's do, for chained, we're going to do washing hands. There are specific steps that you do have to follow in order in order to get to the end and be reinforced with having clean hands. Okay, so, but you can't um, put the soap on after you dry your hands, or you can't rinse the soap off before you turn on the water. Uh, so chained has an order. It has an order and the SD correlated with each response, just like a task analysis uh, or a chained skill has to occur in a specific order. So another example with a chain schedule of reinforcement, let's say it's 7.53 and you have to take out your trash before 8 p.m. But there's five steps to take out the trash, FR5. So we have the interval of seven minutes that we have to complete the five steps within. So those are the two schedules going on. So there's a time-based component and a specific order. Tandem is random. Tandem is random. It's similar to chained, but there's no specific order like cleaning your house. You have to clean your house within 20 minutes. Really, you can choose to do what you need to do. You can move the laundry over before you do the dishes, etc. Alternative is either or. Either, for example, a ratio or an interval schedule is met. Sam needs to run five laps or 30 minutes before he can have a break from recess. Conjunctive is, th is both have to be completed. Al must complete 20 math problems and sit in his desk for 40 minutes before he can go to have recess. 
He can't get up until all the problems are done and 40 minutes has elapsed. So I hope this helps go through the compound schedules of reinforcement. It's quite a lot. Feel free to review this and comment below if you want more examples of these or if you have any ideas. Make sure to subscribe below so that you can get updated for the next video in our series. Thanks for watching. Thank you.